<laughs> All blended. All right. And if we could knock her out cold, that would be wonderful. Here. All right then, cheers. Underappreciated drink? Okay. Cool, I got an achievement. I don't think you should chug it down so quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. That's a lot of W's. Hey kids, wanna die? I see that scroll by a lot. Is this what being kicked in the groin feels like? Yep. <laughs> okay, I've decided I'll get I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of six thousand people. Make their time worth it. I don't care about their time. Alright? <laughs> It's not our job to entertain them, it is your job, lady. Let's see then. Let's see, Safe Our Toy Company. And this company completely run by dogs. Or run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad corgis, yeah. Wow, awesome. Wait, you're not messing with me, right? I wish I was messing with you, trust me. What else, what else? Let's see. Donovan D Dawson was from the Augmented Eye was here three nights in a row. That perfumed chauvinistic tool. There's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. Oh yeah? What did they ask? Oh, the usual stuff. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that had interviewed me was this really small, meek girl with glasses. Like the one from... Like the one from the first day we were here? Seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. Not enough about that. Wait, can I see that glass over there? Hmm, sure. If she steals it, I will karate chop her in the throat. Miss Signature, is this Kira Miki's autograph? Yeah. yeah, she came here before her last concert. Get out, really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar, all the stars? Of the stars or something? Not really, we're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried to get a meeting with her, and she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work, she loves what she does, and it shows. Yeah, she's pretty cool. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it, I knew she was nice. Oh, good job. Her passion shows in her concerts, you know. She's so spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she, sing, she, she, she sings, God, what is wrong with me? Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high performance computer. Oh, I've actually listened. Shine Spark, I've actually listened to the vocal version of that on YouTube before, and I really like it. I find myself singing it in the shower all the time, and I'm sure all of these people love that, don't they? Those who pray premium can hear, oh yeah, whatever, shill your stuff, go for it. That aside, I was about to call bull. Ooh, ooh. I was about to call nonsense on what you just said, but I guess I, you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep the no? Pretty please, it, I hate you. No, I don't care if you six thousand tool bags. Or at least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'd make it perfect was if Pretty Boy over there had a past with the KGB. Uh, the, well, you see here, he might- Who told- <laughs> Yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? <laughs> oh, Gil. You're hilarious. 
Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Of course you want that. <laughs> Coming right up. She got really amused by that. Uh, I don't remember here. Why is bad touch a classy drink? Alright, anyway. Two. Or I need four of those. Four of these. Four of these. It needs to be on ice. And then eight of these. Alright. Here. I was expecting something dirtier. What? Is, well, how? What do you want it to look like? A bunch of blended mud? We have olive brine. I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. Ugh. Ugh. I hate you. That would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold for like two minutes. Don't you have anything like that? No. Thank you. I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. What's this? Excuse me? Friendly reminder that today's excavate is brought. Yeah, of course. Shield your stuff again. Yep, you already said all of this. Membership for a neat code. Free trial of VR experience. Oof. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made an NND model of me. When they asked me about the mo a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. You got money for polishing the model a lot more, I got my partnership, we all won. I even got him a year of free premium membership in a VR set, of course. That's nice. Wait, wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dan- I don't like where this is going. I asked for a reason. It's, well, it's music videos with 3D models. Sounds like a good enough explanation. I see. Alright, sorry about that. People came back in and yeah. So, a little bit of an abrupt cut there. Let's see, model is Meteor. Ew. Consider- Ugh. Ahem. <laughs> you know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see those people. And those people apparently have the attention span of, you know, what did you say, fruit flies? But they're still there, you know. Sure, they're behind screens, but sometimes in the opposite and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So, tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? What? <laughs> Get it all to the moon up in here. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided to out of the blue quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened, sort of. Oh come on, no epiphany, no quarter life crisis. Not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? What? <clears throat> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every occasion is one is a road cone. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Well then don't let them. Throw me a bone here. That must be a nice mystical there must be a nice mystical story you can tell me about yourself, Miss Bartender. Woo or I don't know what that was. Uh, excuse me. Well. Yes. 
sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was Dirk Soul. Or D R K dash S O L. O with a line through it. A really old Lulum model. Apparently, his power supply was running low, his charger was destroyed, and he didn't have any money to buy upgrades or replacements. So, is that like the robot equivalent of like terminal illness? He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. He was from the time when Collective Source wasn't allowed a cloud storage system, so he wouldn't have been uploaded, or wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know? He was the only Lilum I've ever seen with a clear-cut fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He could disappear once- he would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. Oops. So he went and gave me a fingertip of what... Oh. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell off while we were talking. Before he left, he said, if you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. That's actually a really nice story. Bravo, bravo. Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome. I'd pay to see a movie like that. So what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. Out of it, I carry it with me at all times. Oh, that is awesome. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now I think about it. How do you handle that stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plug-in that lays mosaic censorship over what I watch on a TV or theater. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. No matter what. Alright. What was it? Was the fringe was it the fringe weaver that was like nine carmotrines? Why are those going over my screen when she's not on the screen? I think it was. Yeah, alright. We'll just double this one up. I just realized that I was like chewing and slowly leaning into the microphone and I apologize for that. Alright. I do believe that makes 18. It's like drinking a phallic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. So. Lightheaded- oh my god, I killed her. Clumsy tongue. Palm sweaty, knees weak. <laughs> Arms- <laughs> if the game didn't go there, I was going to. <laughs> Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with the- oh man. First, I'll try to guess your bust size. Oh god. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Alright, I need to get my own drink here. Pepsi this time, my friends. Hmm, I'd say... B. Not big enough to fill a hand, but small enough to make you look like a child. You look like a Pokemon character. You back off, lady. You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing. Er, yeah. I'm not discussing my bust. Good job, Lil. Or Jill. Don't be like that, I can tell you're a B cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an. S, and your behavior makes me think your blood is an AB. What does the S mean? How many did I get right? Who knows? 
Ah, please let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate if this is going to be a success. I don't care about the success of your stream. Can I ask something? Finally. What's the point of getting drunk if you're not if you're going to behave the same way? There you go. <laughs> I guess it's kind of redundant. Because you see, I'm drunk 24/7. What? Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything. Seeing the viewer count steadily raise as I take more risks and become more adventurous. There's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Oh god. Speaking of sex, if I get luck. Oh god. Really? Shilling the stuff again. Go premium or go home. Do you really need to get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? Yeah. How do you how do you not have stalkers or something? How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? The mosaic thing? Everything's written here. By being captured on this camera, you hereby provide consent to the use of your face. On all material produced by Streaming Chan LLC. It, how, it, hold on. By being captured by the camera? But you don't get to willingly submit to being captured by the camera. You just take that with you wherever you go. People believe it, and, it's, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. 